Hi everyone. Uh, since uh, Sparky R Studio version 85, there was a change, some for several changes to the script. One of them was actually the way we initialize uh, variables, uh, references that uh, uh, store values for object references, like this one. For example, scenewood.find. This find is deprecated. So now I can, act can actually use it uh, unless I want my project, if I want my project to be supported uh, later on in uh, future runtimes. So uh, this actually causes me to update some of my project because uh, I get an alert that if I won't make any change to the scripting, it won't be supported uh, later on. Uh, just keep in mind, it doesn't mean that any project that you scripting will need to uh, be updated, it depends on the code. Now there are different changes, this is just one of them that I'm talking right here. Now, uh, this is one, as I told you, this is deprecated, deprecate, deprecated, so I can't actually use it anymore. Now, instead of this, what I need to do is use this structure, promise.all, then, and I'm going to explain to you how it uh, works. Now, regarding promise, I'm going to read to you from uh, Mozilla, the promise object represents the uh, eventual completion or failure of an asynchronous operation and its results value. This means this, in this function, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to create references to different objects. Now this might fail or succeed, but what I know is that it still evaluated each one and one of them. Now there's only one, but what I can do is just store many of those references. Of course they need to reference different objects, but you can store many of those. Right here I'm just going to put one, a reference to the 2D text 0. Uh, object in my scene, all right, and this is my scene as you can see here. There's just two D text. Now, if I use this one, this line, it will throw, um, uh, will alert me. Uh, this is a warning. Say this API is deprecated. Please update to the newest SDK version. And I said please use find first or find all instead. Instead of what? Instead of find. All right. Now, basically, what I do is uh, um, I create references here. But as you can see, I don't have a vari variable here which I assign to. The only thing I have is the reference to the object. Now, each reference that I put here will be stored in an array called results. So if I, put, if I have one object here, a reference here, it will be stored at results zero. If I have a second one, let's just create for example a second one, it should be a comma here, this will be stored uh, at uh, result 1, right? Because we access arrays starting from 0, not starting from 1. So let's just erase this one and the comma. All right? Uh, now, uh, second thing here is uh, all the other code uh, that actually in my app I'm going to use here in Dan because this is going to be the scope of my app. Uh, the values uh, the values of the rest of it, again, will be stored in results, so I can actually use them in this scope. And that's what I do. I create a variable here, again, instead of here at the top. By the way, this is not plain. This is called, uh, called the text. All right, same here. But this is deprecated, so we're going to remove it. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just uh, assign it to a variable in this scope. So I say var, the text, and then I need to access the array in order to obtain the reference. Because I have one is going to be stored at uh, zero location. And then I can actually use it. And you can, as you can see, it's actually work. I can even change it to working great. Let's take a look. It's working great, so it's working. Now this, you see the warning here, is because I didn't clear it. If I just refresh, you can see it's already gone. It's not appearing anymore, all right? So right now I can do whatever I like, and if I want need more uh, um, references, I can create something else. Let's just do this right now. Let's create another text. Uh, this is text one, some text, all right? All right, so we have a 2D text one, right? I want to access this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here. 
and I'm going to create another reference. I'm going to put comma here to one to the text one, and this will be stored at results one. This is just a uh, uh, a note, a comment. Yeah, so it's not running. And uh, now results will contain after the promise. It will contain the reference might contain, yeah, again, if it's an error, it won't contain, it can throw an error. Uh, we can capture an error, by the way, uh, uh, using catch, but I'm not using it right now. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to create a variable here, the text to results1, right? And again, by the way, I can access it directly. I can do something like this. Let's just not create a variable. Let's just create results1, access results1 and do text equals nice it's working all right we're going to save it go back to the project and you can see it's updated to nice it's working text i can access it directly or i can just store the reference in a variable and do something like this the text to equals results one this is the reference and then i can use this one text so this will work same way all right now of course I can just continue working <coughs> sorry on my app in the scope of this function so this is actually now uh, that these are going to be global variables for the entire app so I can actually use them any way I want uh, and of course you can also create functions you can create the functions here or you can create it outside of the scope uh, it doesn't matter because they are going to be called anyway uh, when you're call them so but you can put anything here if you like uh, so again what you need to do if you have a uh, find you need to change it to find first store it here without the uh, variable declaration and then you can access it in the then function all right so this is really cool and uh, again it changes you might make you uh, do some uh, changes to your project actually I have some project quite big a few hundreds lines of code uh, and I thought it's going to be no I didn't like the idea yeah I press I thought why did just just don't archive the uh, older project and compile them in a way so they just work uh, with they come with the runtime it's going to be bigger uh, filter but again I don't need to just go and update every uh, every time uh, Facebook decide to make changes to the runtime environment and this means that in the future they might make changes to uh, the runtime again and this means it might make changes but the, the thing is that uh, because it's relatively new environment uh, you're going to see quite a few changes uh, happening so uh, I think that later on it's going to be uh, less an issue for example they won't they won't make any really significant issue to this uh, command uh, to this function so I want you to override it again in a few months but the thing is you need to keep an eye because sometimes they do make changes uh, you might change something uh, uh, in your code in order to make sure that your project filter works uh, in the future so when you do this update so this is it this is one update I wanted to uh, show you uh, and again, it took me some time to make it a large project, but it's not too such a big deal. What you need to do is just make sure that you uh, put all your uh, uh, references here and just uh, create the same variable names that you used before, just create it here and assign the result. Just make sure that it's, you can do something. If you do something like this, for example, move this one here, you just change the order this means this one text will be in uh, uh, result zero and text zero will be now look what happens just take a look here you see working great is here nice it's working is here if I save this look what happened oh what I did I didn't mistake oh yeah yeah sorry it's uh, it's the comma yeah sorry see now they change places so again I'm going to show you I'm going to move this one here zero yeah uh, come on we move this one and it changed again now because the location 
of the references here determine the location in the results array. So the thing is that when you are actually developing, you shouldn't change uh, the order of this because you're just changing the order of the references in the results array. So keep this in mind because it can really screw the project if you just make a change. And again, the, the location really doesn't matter. Of course, you probably want things to be look nice and everything, uh, but probably you want to build a function that can take care of this. But if you're using this as a default, just make sure that you keep the order because once you start programming and assigning here, uh, you're going to use it, uh, you know, uh, with this order. What you can do later on, if you want to make a change, you just make sure that uh, it's easier when variables are actually assigned at the top, and then you're going to change the values just here. For example, if I do something like this, again, I'm making change here. What I need to do, uh, this is now zero and this is now one. I just need to change this to one and this to zero. And because I'm just going to use the variables names here in my project, not the direct reference here in, in the results array, I'm fine. But just keep this in mind, uh, in the declaration of the variables at the top, if you make changes, if you want to, you need to also make changes here. But again, you don't need to change everything here because it just stores the value of the references in the array. Yeah, so this is it for the video, something short just to show you how a uh, uh, promised uh, comment works here. Uh, this works since um, Sparky has to do version 85. And if you need to make the change, this is how we can actually make it. I'm going to list uh, more things that uh, change in later videos so you can understand how to make them as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, everyone. Cheers.